Some blame it for making a wave of catch and release criminals across New Mexico. We're now getting an idea of what some lawmakers are thinking of doing to address the controversial constitutional amendment that's changed how bail works in New Mexico. News 13's Chris McKee heard ideas from both sides today. Facing growing concerns about rising crime, especially in the metro, lawmakers are looking for answers, both Republicans. The public is, is expecting something to be done. And Democrats. We're suggesting it needs to be fixed. Lawmakers say they want a fix for the widely discussed constitutional amendment on bail reform, something that's been blamed for a wave of repeat offender crime, mainly in Albuquerque. Voters passed the amendment that lets judges hold suspects without bail if they're dangerous. But judges have also stopped setting bonds based on dollar figures, instead choosing to hold or release all suspects based on their risk to the community, and many are being let out. We certainly want Governor Susana Martinez has called for a repeal of the amendment, but at today's Criminal Justice Reform Subcommittee... Blaming the constitutional amendment simply is incorrect. Subcommittee Chair House Rep Mo Maestas and co Chair Republican Senator Sandra Rue aren't calling for repeal of the amendment. I think the constitutional amendment was fine. The problem is the system. Both are looking at more funding for the justice system, not just district attorneys, but also the courts and public defenders. We had to find a way to get some resources to those people so they can get fully staffed and they can begin to deal with some of these new uh, initiatives and edicts and rules that are coming down to them. We get the criminal justice system we pay for. And right now, we're not paying for a good criminal justice system. A proposal to raise funds could include taxing all internet sales, but discussion is far from over. In the short term, it's going to be difficult. We just need to talk to one another. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. Lawmakers have a 30 day session this year focusing on the budget, but the governor says she will push them to talk about criminal justice reform as well.